Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the problem that we got from Iranian University's entrance exam. This problem is from algebra. Let's see what we have here. In this problem, we have a multiplication of two terms. We have log of 2 in base sine of x times log of 3 in base sine squared of x minus 1 equals to 0. And we are going to find possible values for x. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, as usual, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. And we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start with the original equation. We have log of 2 in base sine of x times log of 3 in base sine squared of x minus 1 equals to 0. We are going to rearrange it and we will have the equation equals to 1. Now let's use log of 2 in base sine of x equals to 1 over log of 3 in base sine squared of x. Let's see what we are going to do with it in a bit. First, let's replace 1 over log of a in base b with log of b in base a. To do this, we are going to use whatever we have on the left hand side as is, but we are going to replace what we have on the right hand side. We are going to replace it with log of sine squared of x in base 3. Now we have log of sine squared of x in base 3, we are going to replace it with 2 times log of sine of x in base 3. Remember, log of a squared in base b equals to 2 times log of a in base b. Now I'm going to use a similar trick here. I'm going to replace what I have on the left hand side with 1 over log of sine x in base 2. I'm going to keep whatever I have on the right hand side. And then after a rearrangement, I have 2 times log of sine x in base 3 times log of sine x in base 2 equals to 1. Remember here, we only have sine of x as a number, which is something that we can deal with it. Base of both logs are basically a number we have 2 and 3 here now I'm just going to divide both sides by 2 then I'm going to replace one of these log with a new variable let's do that for sine of x in base 2 we are going to replace log of sine x in base 2 with a new variable like t and then we can say that 2 to the power of t equals to sine of x then we are going to have t times log of 2 to the power of t in base 3 equals to 1 over 2. Here we have a new variable. We have t as the unknown variable here and everything else is known. However, we have t and log of 2 to the power of t. Let's see what we are going to do with it. Now I'm going to replace log of a to the power of b with b times log of a. Here we have log of 2 to the power of 3 in base 3. I'm going to replace it with t times log of 2 in base 3. And then I need to multiply it by another t, so at the end I have t squared. t squared log of 2 in base 3 equals to 1 over 2. Now we need to divide both sides by log of 2 in base 3 to just have t squared. 1 over log of 2 in base 3 equals to log of 3 in base 2. So at the end, t is going to be plus minus radical 1 over 2 log of 3 in base 2. Now we need to replace t with what we defined before. To do this, we are going to use log of sine of x in base 2 equals to t. This is something that we defined before. Now we have t. And then we can say that 2 to the power of t equals to sine of x 
or sine of x is going to be 2 to the power of plus minus radical 1 over 2 log of 3 in base 2. Now x is going to be arc sine of this value. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content that we have here. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel.